This morning, DMK MP T.R. Balu has written to MPs of DMK and like-minded political parties to sign memorandum addressed to President pertaining to the immediate withdrawal of Governor R.N. Ravi. The memorandum is requested to be signed on or or before 3rd of November. DMK and its allied parties just recently had released a statement criticizing the governor and even demanded him to resign if he wants to make statements that are against the constitution and dividing. Akshay Nath has got more details. So this is a classic controversy that is brewing between the ruling party in a state which is not aligned to the BJP like DMK in Tamil Nadu and their stance against the governor Akshay. Tamil Nadu, the war between the governor and the state of uh, Tamil Nadu's ruling party, the DMK, has been something that has been long standing. And recently we have seen the Secular Progressive Alliance, which is DMK and its ally partners, giving out a very strong statement, stating that RN Ravi's activities are just one uh, which are indicating of getting uh, the, uh, you know, the support of the BJP. And they even said that it is like he's trying to get a bigger position in the government and that is the reason why he's been acting so and speaking so. And uh, they had also said that if Governor Arun Ravi is to continue talking in this manner, then it is better that he resigns from his post. And after this statement that came on Sunday, today we are seeing that T.R. Balu, senior leader of the DMK, writing to MPs of the party as well as like-minded uh, political parties allied to the uh, DMK, stating that uh, if uh, they also feel that Arun Ravi needs to be removed from the constitutional position of the governor that is currently holding, then to sign a memorandum on or before the 3rd of November. This will be then sent to the president, uh, is what T.R. Balu's statement reads about. And we need to remember, uh, Sneha, in the state of Tamil Nadu, uh, the clashes between the governor's remarks and the state government has been ongoing. Uh, it was seen that after the Coimbatore blast incident, uh, R.N. Ravi, the governor, had also raised questions as to why there was a delay uh, that was a four-day delay in handing over the case from the police department to the NIA. And the very same day, we saw the industries minister of the state coming and giving a retort stating that uh, the press meet is to reply to governor's uh, remarks. So we've been seeing that the ongoing uh, you know, face-off between the DNK leadership and RN Ravi has just escalated further with now T.R. Balu writing to MPs uh, Sneha. Akshay, I'm thanking you for the moment for getting out details of that controversy. I don't read the news. I read between the lines to tell you the true version of events, the true story of our times. To document grief, the toughest assignment for any journalist to be. From those who matter. Women politicians gonna stick up for each other. Of those who should matter, I document the truth. I don't distort the truth. I don't glamorize the truth. I don't gloss over the truth. The ghosts of India's contentious medieval history have come knocking again. I hustle for the truth, on the ground, in the newsroom, in the I studio. I don't try to grab eyeballs. I inform you to make you see the point. To the point with Preeti Chaudhary, at these times, only on India Today.